ribbon of Loxley, a knight bold and good. Back from the holy wars becomes Robin Hood. It's Master Robin. It's Master Robin. Tom, it's Master Robin. Martha, it's oh, good to see you. Master Robin. Tom, you came back. Heaven be praised, the pilgrim found you. At the very gates of Jerusalem. But it was months before I could start home. I said the day of vengeance would come, Martha. Master Robin will strike down every last one of them. I've had my fill of bloodshed in the past four years, Tom, crusading with King Richard. I've come back to visit my father's grave and claim my inheritance. Then I want to settle down peacefully. There's no peace left. They'll kill you unless you kill them first. Kill me? Who'd want to kill me? Sir Roger de Lille and the rest of the Normans. Let's swill their wine up in the manor house. When did this Roger de Lille move into the manor? It was a year ago. Luxley Hall stood empty. Then he came to the gate, waving a scroll with a big red seal on it. Watch Camwell told them you'd be back from the crusade, and they flout him till he was well nigh dead. Poor Watt. But I'll make it up to him as soon as I get my lands back. You'll not get them back. Not unless you kill. Cut off their heads. Man and woman alike. Starting with Roger de Lille. Kill. That's the only way. You best lie back in your bed, Tom, where you'll shout yourself into the grave. I'll get you some hot broth. He doesn't understand. Master Robin doesn't understand. I know Tom sounds daft to you, but he's not to be blamed. Why should I blame him? He's loyal and faithful, and I can see he's suffered for it. Night and day we've lived in fear of our lives. I heard rumors of these evil things, Martha. That's why I came back. I can see I stayed away too long. Everything's changed since you went, Master Robin. Sometimes I think when Tom raves about blood and death to the Normans, he's the only sane one of us left. It's time I made myself known to these guests of mine. And the stupid dog of a Saxon sir refused to get down on his knees. So I drew my sword and sliced off an ear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, more wine. Be quick. I told you to keep the cups filled. Where was I? You were carving up a surf, my bow leaves. Ah, oh, so I was. <laughs> well, the stupid fellow came at me with his bare hands. So I, I pinned him to the wall. Ah, oh, Hubert, what do you want? A gentleman wishes to see you, my lord. How dare you interrupt us? Let him wait. <laughs> but he refuses, sir. He says his business is most urgent. Urgent? Who is this impudent fellow? He gives his name as 
Robin of Loxley. Robin of Loxley? That's impossible. He's dead. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I have a paper to prove it. And I'm here to disprove the paper, my lord. It's true, I was wounded in the service of the king, but I'm very much alive, as you can see. You're alive, yes. But you're not Robin of Loxley. Under ordinary circumstances, I take it ill to have my word doubted. But you are, in a sense, guests in my house, whether invited or not. All I ask is that you leave my home as soon as possible. If you do so peacefully, we can forget what's happened. Most generous of you. All he wants is that we should give up our home and our land and turn them over to him. My home and my land. So you tell us. But I say Robin of Loxley is dead. And you're an imposter. We can easily test whether I'm an imposter or not. Call in the people from the estate and ask them who I am. <laughs> the testimony of a Saxon serf means nothing. I have another witness. A Norman witness of high standing. But I prefer to bring him to the attention of the Sheriff of Nottingham, if you force me to take my cause there. <laughs> what purpose could that serve? The Sheriff himself commissioned me to take over this house and land and to maintain peace and order. Since my return, I've seen little peace and less order. I've no wish to argue these matters with you. Your claim is preposterous. Robin of Loxley is dead. He was killed in the Holy Land. His father died, leaving no other heir. No other heir but me. Look at his picture and you'll see a resemblance. So I see you've closed your eyes as well as your ears to justice. I meant to have that piece of rubbish thrown out long ago. Hubert, take this picture out and burn it. Sir Roger, Lady Delisle, forgive me for interrupting your dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I made a mistake in coming here. Yeah. The mistake I made was to waste my breath on a scoundrel who shall answer to me either in court or by the sword. this very night. Have no fear, my lady. We can trust the sheriff. Quite, my dear. So much more prudent than trusting to the sword.
Very caught, my lad. Hold him. Bring him over here. Stealing a deer? Yes. We're just carrying out the punishment. We're royal foresters. What is the punishment? Very unpleasant one, I assure you. In this case, it's eyes, fingers, and the forest. You're going to do that to him just for killing a deer? Well, I don't like it any more than you do. You better go talk to Prince John or whoever settles these matters for him. Right. Touch him with that, you get an arrow through your throat. You're a bold fellow, aren't you? Think you can kill all three of us? If I have to. <laughs> now untie him, and then leave. Well, our duty doesn't include getting ourselves killed. You can have him. For now. <laughs> 